Hi guys, BTech here. In earlier video, I have tried lossless scaling frame generation on the low-end device to see how it performs. As expected, it didn't perform well. I have done the testing in LSFG version 2.1. Some of you guys' mentions in the comments that older versions of LSFG works better with older hardware. So let's test that. So this device is equipped with Intel Core i5-3230 mCPU and I have paired it with 8 gigabytes of dual channel memory and OS is running on SSD. Before we begin, I want to quickly show you guys how this actually performed in better system. Right now, I'm running Red Dead Redemption 2 on my gaming laptop, and I'm getting around 60 FPS. So now if I enable frame generation using LSFG, as you can see, my base frame rate has gone down to around 48 FPS, and with generated frames, it's now at 96 FPS. And this feels much smoother. If I disable FG, you can see the base frame rate has gone up to around 65 FPS again. So there is a performance penalty, even on higher end systems. Now let's move on to the low end laptop. First, I'm going to test frame generation on LSFG 2.1. These are the settings I'm using. As you can see, I'm currently getting around 15 FPS in this game which is Assassin's Creed Rogue. Now let's enable the frame generation. As you can see, it's gone down to 10 FPS, and now total FPS with generated frames are 20, which doesn't feel good. Now let's change the LSFG version to 1.1 to see whether it will help. But unfortunately, it's the same story. The baseline FPS is the same, and the generated frame rate is same as well which is around 20 FPS. But this feels a little better compared to version 2.1, but for me, this is unpliable. And there is some good amount of input lag, as you can see. We tested this with high settings. Now let's turn down it to low settings. Now it's getting around 30 to 40 FPS, which is pretty playable. Let's enable frame generation on version 1.1 and see how much FPS we can get. As you can see now, the base FPS has dropped to around 20 FPS and the total fragrant is 37 FPS with generated frames. This doesn't feel good either compared to native FPS. Let's change the LSFG version to 2.1 and see what will happen. Now the base frame rate has dropped around to 17 to 20 FPS and total FPS with generated frames are around 34 to 37 FPS, which is a little worse compared to version 1.1, but both are unplayable for me with frame generation. Now let's move on to another game well optimized for this hardware, which is Driver San Francisco. As you can see, it's now getting around 50 FPS in this game. Let's enable LSFG on version 2.1 and see what will happen. As you can see, it's not much better either compared to Assassin's Creed Rogue. The base FPS has gone down to around 25 FPS, and the total frame rate is now 32 to 35 FPS, which is not good. Let's check on version 1.1 to see whether it will give better results.
Unfortunately, it's the same thing. Base frame rate is around 26 FPS and total frame rate is 37 FPS. So in conclusion, frame generation can't be utilized for gaming in this older hardware. So that's it for this video. If you find this useful, please help me by subscribing. Thank you.